Welcome back to Tissue World TV. We're about to meet one more of our conference presenters who's been thrilling the conference audience throughout this morning, in fact. Our guest today is Svetlana Udeslavaya, who's the head of industry research for Euromonitor International, based in Chicago in the US. Svetlana, you were here talking about growth, talking about growth markets, and where the growth is happening. Mm -hmm. People were hanging on your every word in the conference. Where is the growth coming from, and <laughs> welcome. Well, thank you very much for having me. And um, in terms of growth rates, uh, I think there is no big surprise there that it's really the emerging markets that are driving the growth and are going to drive the growth going forward. Uh, what is interesting though to see is what are the drivers of growth in retail, what are the barriers and obstacles to growth in also across away from home um, space. And in terms of retail, for instance, if we were to look at the developed markets, um, unfortunately, there aren't really that many opportunities. Although, of course, uh, if we were to look at each separate market, so there might be some um, opportunities in terms of unmet potential, some opportunities in terms of uh, influencing the market through um, innovation, uh, merchandising. But generally speaking, it's really the developing markets where we see habit formation, where we see soft drivers like product availability, um, really um, helping to maintain the momentum and driving the, pro the uh, markets further. The tissue market in its own right is quite bullish rather than bearish at the moment. You say that uh, developed markets mm -hmm. are fairly saturated. Is there any room for growth at all in mm -hmm. developed markets, do you think? Um, this is something that we need to look at case by case basis. There are some markets, especially um, in the south of Europe, for instance, such as Italy, Spain, where there are a little bit more unmet potential in terms of tissue consumption, and that can be supported further through product development and further habit formation going forward. But generally speaking, uh, when we look at uh, markets within Western Europe, within North America, the developed markets, unfortunately, there aren't that many opportunities, and there are a lot of pricing pressures. Um, so it's really becoming increasingly difficult for the industry to significantly influence consumption consumption going forward. Uh, that is not to say that this, the picture is completely bleak, so there are certainly um, uh, some opportunities in developing various price tiers and different products um, that meet specific consumer needs. Uh, but it's really becoming increasingly about cost efficiencies uh, to ensure that going forward, uh, the industry players can have their profit margins and at the same time meet this really uh, difficult, challenging conditions in the markets and um, sort of consumer needs. So what would you say as a closing question, uh, your walk away message for all the conference delegates really was? Mm. Uh, well, uh, it's hard to come up with really one single message. Um, again, look in terms of where the opportunities are, not only in terms of the fastest growing markets, but also in terms of that unmet potential uh, in volume, and looking at uh, the consumer base and where the needs and demands are. And that includes various things, including pricing, including incomes, uh, where the um, where the consumers have been changing their habits and um, such as, again, developing markets uh, where you can still influence the consumption and drive the market further. Uh, or whether you're operating in the developed markets where you're looking at, for instance, the evolution of private label. As one of my colleagues pointed out um, in, in one of the presentations, that private label is definitely something to look at um, as a potential opportunity. Private label is not going anywhere and it's becoming more sophisticated in terms of offering. And so obviously looking at that in the developed markets as well as increasingly in some of the key growth markets like Russia and, um, and others, um, it's really something to consider as an opportunity. That's fantastic. Thank you very much indeed for being with us Thank this morning. Thank you.